Simon Z, 2014 Distinguished Achievement in Academia Diamond Award winner. I didn't pay a lot of attention to him until the first exam. I usually would uh, set up an exam so it gave a class average of 50%. That way you got things spread out nicely. And so I did that. Simon got 100. The bugger. <laughs> so that aroused my competitive instinct. I thought, I'll show Simon. The next exam, the class average was 30%. Simon still got 100. I said, okay, Simon, you can have your 100. You're just a very brilliant young man. And Professor Z is universally uh, acclaimed. Uh, everybody knows his name. He is extremely uh, respected. Such a famous guy, but uh, he is very, very approachable. Simon is a giant in the field of semiconductor devices. He's known for his seminal contributions invented uh, what has become a multi-trillion dollar industry. Simon co-invented non-volatile semiconductor memory known as flash memory. Today it's found in almost every cell phone and electronic device that uses digital memory. It took a while for people to realize how important the floating memory device was. You really had to get to the point where um, they needed uh, a device which would retain memory if you turned off the device. Therefore, you can just simply guess how much impact these uh, uh, technical innovations are giving uh, to today's world. 2014, the penetration uh, of uh, electronics industry by non-volatile semiconductor memories invented by Simon is 100%. Uh, this is perhaps one of the greenest inventions ever made. Because of the non-volatile memories that are inside, it saves each user about a ton of carbon emissions per year. I've often thought if we tried to do the things we do today in electronics with vacuum tubes, we'd have to run Cooley Dam to run just the vacuum tubes. In Simon's group um, at Bell Laboratories was the best experience of my life. I remember uh, I came to Simon with an invention of mine, a transit time device. Simon uh, examined it carefully and gave me sound advice. Uh, he didn't mention one little detail, that this device had already been invented, uh, had the name Barrett, and the inventor's name was Simon Z. This I had to learn from others. So he's uh, known as an outstanding uh, researcher and also a teacher and uh, often viewed as a very visionary person. Now, the other side is his, uh, say, book writing. He always compare his book stacked this way and compare to his uh, daughter's height. Simon has authored, co-authored, and edited more than 40 texts and 300 articles. His book, Physics of Semiconductor Devices, is one of the most cited engineering texts with more than 40,000 citations, and it remains widely used today. If you study that book carefully from page one through the end, you know you actually get almost all of the necessary uh, technical knowledge which you need to be a semiconductor engineer. My wife, Nadia, who also worked in the same great uh, Lapselter's laboratory, she tells me to uh, show the book. This book is Physica Poloprovodnikovich Priborov, the Russian edition of Simon's uh, book, um, which was the only professional book which she took along when she emigrated from Russia in 1974. He has that ability not only to write important books, but to do important research. And uh, to have the time and the intellect to do that are, are really impressive. Simon's work has been honored both nationally and internationally. As an engineer, I always look upon the Academy of Engineering membership as the real measure of your uh, stature in the community. J.J. Evers Award is a very prestigious award which is given to truly uh, distinguished accomplishment uh, under I2PLE Electron Device Society. Well, all of these are very significant awards, especially the membership of the National Eng Academy of Engineering. Um, but I think these are, uh, in, with, for somebody of Simon's stature, these are merely stepping stones to some colossal awards yet to come. Stay tuned.